besties, it's like 5 p.m. and I have had a really slow day, but I have to start packing today because we're moving in six days. So, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome to The Organized Soprano, where we talk about all things home and organizing. And uh, we have entered sort of semi-panic mode. So real talk, we're having some trouble with setting up our utilities. So when they condoized the house, um, something, I, I don't know what's been going on, but like there are, there, there's a different, the address changed when they condoized the house. Um, and so, we are having trouble setting up our utilities because they're claiming that that address that we just closed on and moved, are gonna move into, does not exist. It's taken like 10 days to send someone out to assess the property to see if it exists. And um, it's a problem. So we have called the city. They, they were not helpful. The US Postal Service was not helpful. So um, this is a little bit frustrating. So we're trying to contact the um, our real estate agents to see what the sellers did when they set up their utilities because they obviously had internet, phone, cable, gas, electricity, all that. So I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I've just been editing some videos and I got a whole bunch of boxes and stuff from Home Depot. So. Um, my goal today is to deconstruct some of the spaces that will be the least impactful on our lives. And that is usually the first thing I recommend for clients who are asking for help, like what to pack first. And pack the items that are going to be less impactful if they're in a box, like decorations, stuff that's backup stuff that you don't really need. So I'm going to go attack the, bath the master bathroom closet and... The coat closet because it's summertime we don't really need like weather gear unless it's like a raincoat so i'll leave the raincoats out but and the master closet i think i'm gonna do the master closet take it apart today if i can do all those things today i mean i'll be amazed with myself but i'm gonna pace myself so i'm gonna try the bathroom closet first i'll take you all with me and we'll see how much i can get done so it wouldn't be a video if i didn't find one of clover's balls he did he pulls the felt off of these and it's so annoying um, but he enjoys it, so whatever. So here is all of my stuff that I got from storage. It was a bunch of bins, and mostly I wanted to find a bunch of these things because these are where clothes were gonna go, and I think there's also packing things inside this one, like I think there's bubble wrap and stuff on the inside. Yep, we got tons of bubble wrap and stuff, so this will be really helpful. Even though I did buy some more bubble wrap, this will be great. This is from the last time we moved. I also wanna make sure that there's um, some packing stuff in here as well, because I took this out of our storage. Yeah. Look at your girl's got the mother load of these like bags, so I think this is gonna be great. We're gonna take this um, for the coat closet, but I think for the regular closet, I'm gonna take the regular boxes in there. I got an assortment of boxes from Home Depot. Those are heavy duty. These are regular small boxes and these are like the cheapo boxes. I think for the bathroom, I'm gonna use the cheapo boxes. Cheapo. And uh, that'll, be, that'll be that for that. Don't speak, there's no need for you talking. Call in the highest sky. Supplies in it, so I'm gonna go and see if I can try and find it. All right, I found it. It was in like the bottom 
of everything and I was so mad that I found it. And now I have the shrink wrap and everything I need to pack the cleaning supplies because cleaning supplies can spill when you're moving them so I like to just shrink wrap them up. Uh, so I'll get, still get going on that. Oh my gosh, this is taking so much longer than I thought. It's already like almost six, oh my gosh. Packing things in a spray bottle, the best thing you can do for yourself is just to turn the sprayer off. Uh, you know, sometimes there's the, like indications on like whether it's on, spray, spritz, stream, or off. Uh, do yourself a favor and turn it off so it doesn't accidentally uh, get you or like open and do some weird things while you're moving. Actually, um, but I'm gonna just take the shelving down now. So oh, I should like charge my drill. I'm not prepared for today, am I? some stuff out it's a little messy but most of it has been packed away there's all the parts so I'm gonna take a break to feet clover and then I will get started on the coat closet good times start taking this whole thing down. That was not as bad as I thought. Everything came out of the closet and packed some stuff already, so this should be no problem at all. Yes, making progress. We love it. morning like 7 51 almost 8 o'clock I've been awake since like 6 30 clovers here say good morning <laughs> say good morning he's been here harassing me because I'm eating some yogurt for breakfast and he absolutely adores plain yogurt but mine has honey in it you can't have any maybe I'll give you a little plain yogurt later yeah I know my breast smells like yogurt my breast smells like yogurt I know 
Anyway, uh, I'm tr still trying to clear the closets out. This is gonna be a beast. So I think I'm just gonna tackle it. Maybe I'll take some Advil, go for it. Uh, it's like, I need to, it's, it's not bad because it's freestanding shelving, but there's just a lot of stuff in there and I just need to go for it. So here we go. I'm done. Wow, this is uh, really tiring. <laughs> okay, I am finished taking apart the Alpha freestanding, so there's nothing left. Um, and it's a hot mess in my office, as you can see. I've packed some things in boxes. I have some boxes there, um, and I also have some boxes here but a lot of it's like just out. We do have some packers coming this weekend to help uh, with packing. I need to take everything off those shelves and pack them. Um, what, but I'm, I'm gonna have to do the bulk of like the plant moving because movers don't move plants and I'm just gonna have to do that myself in my car. So good times, good times. There's my socks. Look at all the shelving that I took off the wall. <laughs> And all the standards and the feet and stuff and the brackets are like in the living room here. So we've got like this stuff here. This is the coats and stuff. And it's just a mess. But you know, that's what moving is. It's a big ginormous mess. There's all the like the alpha pieces. So as long as we can get all the closets deconstructed by like the end of the evening, I think we'll be good. Um, Husbando is probably gonna help, have to help with the pantry and the master closet. So maybe we can make a date to do that later, but um, I'm glad that I did three out of five. <laughs> so um, it, was, it was a lot, it was a lot. I'm gonna have to take that stuff out um, that's in there in order to put those shelving back up, but we're making pretty good progress and I'm feeling feeling good about this. Um, yeah, we got this. All right, I'm gonna take a break probably for some really bad, like I just feel like a hamburger and fries is warranted right now. So I'm gonna have that and uh, just watch YouTube for a few hours and veg out. Maybe I'll answer some emails and uh, I have an article I need to write as well. Maybe I'll do that later. I'll see you later. Bye. Welcome to Thursday. Good morning. Um, I did a pretty good job cleaning out the closet, the master closet, but I still have to take out the alpha and my friend is going to be here in, I don't know, what time is it? Probably like 15 minutes to um, help me put the closet, make closets back up. So I'm a little bit panicking. I mean, I'm not really panicking. I have Eve here to help and she is um, one of somebody I used to work with at Container Store. So if she really wants to if she, she could probably help me if I need it, but um, I'm gonna do the best I can in there, but I'll show you what's going on in there first. So husband and I took all the clothes out except for that stuff up there. I'm gonna go grab that stuff real quick and then I'm gonna take all of this shelving down so I can put the old closets back up. What a life. <laughs>
Okay, too. friends, we put the closets back up. So these are completely the way they are when we came here. Very good. And I will show you the master closet too. These are the ones that were the hardest to put back together. So here is the master closet. Sorry, there's no light on. I uh, can't really get to the light switch right now, but we did a pretty good job. Just got to patch those holes where the alpha was, um, but the rest of it's pretty much done. Just, oops, needs to be painted a little bit, but we're, we're all good. So we're making good progress. I even vacuumed. Now we're gonna go to the house and I'm gonna do some measurements on the closets to um, see what changes I can make for our personal needs. And I'm uh, gonna go do some measurements as well. Clover's coming with me. He's very excited right now. <laughs> Like, look at my hair like it's crazy we're gonna wash and style my hair today so I'm gonna do a little bit of self-care today um, because we've got a number of super annoying things to do so it is Sunday morning like around 10 something and uh, so I still have to pack my like vanity and stuff and some of the stuff that's lying around my computer um, monitor we have to take the food from our refrigerator and our freezer. Oh my gosh, did you hear my stomach? It just went oh. And we also have to take my house plants to the apartment and um, remove the curtains and curtain rods from the walls, the windows. So much noise. I'm so excited to have like less noise. What is going on with my stomach? Anyway, I'm gonna take some time in the bathroom because I'm just gonna do a little self-care and uh because i've I'm, I'm got some like back pain and like some foot pain so i'm gonna take some advil get myself together fill my water bottle because that's really important i've been drinking so much water over the last like few days oh it's like still got some ice in there so that should be fun you can, can, oh no it's not ice anymore <laughs> it's 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 all melted but um i've been drinking so much water uh so i'm thinking that's helping a little bit i'll fill that up and um, hopefully we will get everything we need to get done today. I'm so, I am um, a little stressed, not gonna lie, but it's one step at a time. And I think that's really the way to go. So I'm gonna take like at least an hour in there in the bathroom and I'm gonna just do a whole self care, like Wusa, Zen, like, positive affirmations kind of experience. If I have a mask, I will do it. Actually, I have like a face mask. I think I'll do that. And um, just bring back some positive energy. Clover's here. Clover, hello. Do you have positive energy? I think you do. Definitely think you do. I think Clover's feeling a little stressed. Uh, so I'm just trying my best to comfort him and stuff. But um, so he's the last day in the apartment. Yes. So I just got out of the shower. I have one hair clip in. So as you guys see my freshly washed hair, I'm only including this because I get a lot of questions about my hair care routine. So I'm going to do a time lapse, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do so that these questions will be answered. Maybe I'll turn off the fan. I don't know. It's super loud. Okay. So the first thing I do is well, I washed and deep conditioned my hair. And the next thing I'm going to do is detangle with Kinky Curly uh, Not Today uh, conditioner. It looks like I'm almost out, so I, I think I have some extra 
like in my travel bag because I've been using this for the past few days, you know, in lieu of like having a full bathroom situation. So I think I may need to dip into that. But first thing I do is detangle with this. And then the next thing I do after I've detangled with that is use the Amla and Olive Heavy Cream. This is from Comet Biologics. Um, I like this a lot. I have an extra one in my backups, but I, I tried this actually, this Burdick, Burdick Root uh, Buttercream, and I like this a lot better. So I think I'm gonna, after I use up all of these, I'm gonna buy another one of these. My hair just likes this one better, but I use that for moisturizing. And then on top of that, I use the Kiki Curly Curling Custard. You guys know I love this stuff. Uh, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of processes in here. It usually takes me like an hour to do. And I do like a finger coiling method. So I'm gonna do that all over my head and to get the most defined, most long lasting curls. I usually do this like once a week and it, it'll last for maybe like, it looks really good for four days and then it starts to look kind of ratty after that. So sometimes I'll restyle, but usually it'll just, look ratty and then wash. Um, so uh, I'll do a time lapse while I'm watching a YouTube video and style my hair and you guys can see the whole the whole video. Sorry it's like slightly slanted. My camera has a dummy battery in it so it doesn't it won't run out of battery but it the bottom's open so it's like argh. so sorry about that. Maybe I'll straighten it in post. Who knows? Okay uh, enjoy the time lapse. So usually I put some clips where I want some of the shrinkage to be reduced. So if you're not familiar with um, like naturally curly hairstyles and curly hair care, um, your hair curl textures are not the same all around your head. Like I have really tight curls on the sides and the ones on the bottom, like near my neck are nearly straight, they're like really, really loose. So sometimes I'll like, I'll stretch out this side a little more just to match the length all around. Um, so I used to feel self-conscious about wearing these out. I don't anymore, I don't care. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna wear these clips and um, try to stretch out my hair. But then, so this is the end result of the wet, twisting and um, what is it, hair, uh, it's called finger coiling. So as you can see, the curls are super, super defined. And um, I don't hair, I don't blow dry, I just air dry. So it's like pretty much wet for the entire day and it looks weird. But the next day I will fluff it out and the curls look really pretty and they're really moisturized and they are very defined and stay that way for like a week. Not even a week. 
five days, four days. Um, so again, so that's my curly hair routine for all of you who were curious. This is a pain in the butt. I'm not gonna lie and say that it's like something, one of my favorite things to do, but it's worth it to me to, to um, take an hour of my day and do this because um, I don't like to style my hair. <laughs> and this saves me a lot of time during the week and so that I look like decent and um, stuff, but you know, there it is. There's the curly hair routine, so. Uh, so yeah. quick tour of what we're doing, what's going on right now. Look, we could look at this mess. Look at this mess, mess. And you know how sad this is, is like when, okay, where's the light, where's the light? Here it is, the closet, that beautiful alpha closet that I put up, remember? Gone, now there's the crappy closet made us back up and it's not even closet made, it's like closet tech or whatever. Anyway, we got crap everywhere, just junk stuff all packed up, ready to go to the forever home. Um, remember the amazing pantry that I created? It is no more. It is no more, no more, no more. Um, so here's the living room. It's a mess and the counter's a mess, but we are very excited. I just have to like take care of like this computer stuff. I'm so sorry it's dark, the computer stuff. And um, that'll be, then we'll be ready to go. Let's get out of here. Let's get the heck out of here. Good morning. It is move day and it's chaotic. It's chaotic. Um, a lot of the stuff is out already though, but there's still some stuff that's like not in boxes. Like the, well, this is gonna cleaning stuff. And then, um, let's see what else. The whole bedroom and I'm, I'm frankly just, hurriedly packing my bathroom stuff so it's a lot it's a lot right now um clover doesn't understand it's not playtime so this is really fun but hopefully i will see you in the new place definitely have to clean up around here as well and there's um curtains still up in two of the rooms so oh my gosh yeah uh, i'm tongue tied twisted around your finger like a piece of string i'm winded chasing after your ghost is real exhausting i'm in love but i don't think it's what i thought it was supposed to be love story no guts and no glory how did i get so dizzy thinking of you i don't usually get like this Something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this Get like, get like this Gonna flap for me if I 